welcome to the project demonstration of rf control pole climbing robot so here uh, we are going to control this robot for pole climbing so with the help of the rf remote and a receiver was attached to the pic 16f72 microcontroller so when we are pressing the button a and d so a for up and d for down so based on these commands transmitting from the RF transmitter, receiver receive the information and decode that. So that will be given to the PIC 16F72 microcontroller. So once the controller receives the data, it will decode that information and it is going to control the direction of this three DC motors which are con uh, connected to the L293D motor driver. So here we place the L293D motor driver. So uh, in order to control that, we are going to uh, provide the 0110 inputs to this uh, L293 motor driver and will control the direction of this three DC motors upward direction and downward direction. So these three are connected in parallel to the one H bridge of our L293 motor driver. So the whole system driven by this 12 volt one amp battery. So will uh, it's a rechargeable battery. So in order to recharge that battery, just we need to connect the 230 volts input to this transformer and then so connect the T to the T slot so now now the charger is switching on and connect the B at this B slot so once you made the connection at the B slot then the batteries will getting charging right so now the battery is charging so it will take at least 8 to 10 hours to be fully charged so after the time completion you can disconnect the charger and you can switch off the battery charging circuit so now this is the RF remote and uh, there is a one main on off switch on the robot. So on off. So when you switch on this, if the light blinks on and off two times and then it off continuously. It means if it is uh, battery is fully charged, it blinks two times. Otherwise if it is low charge, then the, uh, the particular red LED is continuously blinking on and off, on and off. And here also we have the indication of LED indication when the data is transmitting. So it can be controlled for the at least distance of 60 meters of duration. So I'm switching on this. So when you press this switch, there will be a light indication on the receiver module end. So the below three motors are used to provide the support for the wheels. Right. 